Today we are taking the stereo out of a 2007 Mazda CX-7. At first glance this one looked kind of difficult because uh, I have seen some trick things with Mazda where you have to drop the glove box and find a hidden screw way in back on the side or you break the whole front panel and the AC controls off. But uh, after getting into this one and taking a closer look, this one is somewhat easy. We're going to place the key in the ignition, set the parking brake, and shift to a lower gear. And with our pry bar, and you look real closely at this silver panel here, there is a little spot at the bottom to insert the, the pry bar at the side, and we're going to attempt to uh, pry along the edge of this silver panel, and it, the clips will release. So now all the clips on this panel uh, release with pry pressure, and we're going to work our way across to the left side here, and that helps release the clips. See, we pry up the edges a little bit more. Pry up the edges a little bit more on the left side and pull while we're doing that. And I found that these clips can be somewhat difficult. Now that we have probably from here down the panel released from the dash or at least loose, we can go up to the top and pry on the edge of this silver panel. Try the left side. Right side, there we go. Now the panel releases. Now we found that these two uh, clips here on each side tend to be difficult to remove. Once you remove the panel, the, the clip has been bent a little bit, so the clips are going to be pushed back into place so that they go back into the opening. Now this allows us access to the stereo. We have uh, four Phillips screws, one the bottom left. On the uh, top left, on the uh, top right, or excuse me, bottom right, and on the uh, top right. Now with uh, these screws all removed, now we're going to pull the stereo from the dash and wiggle it around because sometimes it can, the uh, wires in the back get a little attached and allow us to pull it forward. Uh, pulling it forward there just uh, remove the antenna from the back of the radio. Move the radio up this way. Uh, the antenna was plugged in over here on the side. If it remains connected you just grasp the base and pull that down out of the antenna. Uh, as for the emergency flasher switch it's wired in on the side of the case and comes back here and there's a second connector right here and we're going to push the trigger in that's in on the side. This will allow us to unlock the connector and remove it. Now this connector again here uh, has a little trigger on it where you push the trigger down it releases the lock and allows you to remove it. Uh, all the connectors on this vehicle are keyed so there, there is no need to uh, worry about labeling the connectors and so on because they all they all fit one spot when returning. Now this is the main connector to the radio. This one also has a trigger on it. We're going to push that trigger in and wiggle the connector loose. Now we remove the connector from the stereo. Uh, we see these stereos in shop for uh, CD uh, changer problems, which is uh, very common in the shop for repair. Uh, so one thing we suggest before going through this process of uh, removing the stereo, that you uh, try a reset for the changer, because sometimes we've seen uh, uh, a reset of the changer causes it to come back and start working again. Now to do the reset you can go through this whole process of removing the stereo and then hooking it back up. Or you can go out under the hood and remove the negative terminal from the battery for 5 or 10 minutes and then reconnecting it. If there's any glitch in the communication between the changer and the stereo, this can reset it and bring it back to working. Uh, otherwise this is a stereo we'd need to see in the, de in the shop for repair. Uh, but don't send the face along with the stereo because you have the emergency flashers here. Usually disconnecting the emergency flashers and removing this part from the vehicle, you lose the brake lights on your vehicle. So uh, next you would... Uh, now uh, to remove this stereo so you can send it in the shop for repair, there are two pink screws that need to be removed. They both have arrows pointing to them. And then we're going to move over to the opposite side as well. 
there are two more screws as well and you want to remove the two screws here that hold the uh, connector for the emergency flashes and remove this from the base of the radio. Uh, once these screws are removed, then you can hold the face and the stereo will back right out. Uh, the face will remain and then you can put the face back and connect your emergency flashers to keep your rear brake, brake lights and turn signals and so on. Uh, this is how you remove the stereo from a 2007 Mazda. I hope this video has been helpful. Thank you for watching.